Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is going to be a very quick rundown of cool updates that is happening with Character Creator, Unreal Engine Live Link, iClone, and also a couple of things that you need to know that the guys at Relution are working on right now. Now for the update of Character Creator 3.3, the guys at Relution, they are going ahead to keep up with the promise that they've made and, you know, things that has to go in line with what they have actually set out for the roadmap. So for the roadmap of Character Creator 2020, we actually saw a couple of things and it's pretty cool to see that right now they have actually added up to the release of the skin gen, which we actually took a look at sometime last week or sometime last two weeks. They've now gone ahead to add a brand new eye element, which you can actually take a look at. Now, if you simply look at this, you would notice that there are certain features that now exist with this. Now you can see that within this part, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff with the eye. Things that include enhancing the eye, adding some extra eye moisture. And for those who would like to get some occlusions, if you would like to make some changes to the color, this is now here. And owing to the fact that they are also talking about updates for the mesh, they've also gone ahead to make some pretty cool updates as well. So you can now easily morph. And once you morph your character, the eye actually stays along with it. So if you're trying to create some stylized character with realistic eyes, you can now get those possibilities with the brand new feature that is coming to the character creator 3.3 and accompanying with this the new character creator 3 base plus is also going to be coming pretty soon so they've also talked about it there is a tease about certain things that you will now be able to see an enhancement to the skin rigging and also some pretty cool enhancements to poses right now if you simply go over to the blog which i'm going to put link in the description you would notice that there are certain features and certain things that have been updated you can see some enhancement on the model and they fine tune this in terms of edge flow in terms of quad counts this is really really interesting to see and one beautiful thing to note is the eyes are coming as part of the CC3 base plus characters that will be coming to the character creator 3.3. So probably sometime next month, we're also going to be able to get this. And the beautiful part about this is you can easily now morph your previous characters into these ones. And once you're making that morph, the eyes are automatically going to also morph alongside. Another beautiful thing with the whole base 3 plus characters is whether you're using the Daz Genesis 8 female or you're using the Daz Genesis 8 male, you can easily morph this and get exactly the same kind of features that you want to get in Daz right here. So one more pretty update is there is also going to be an A pose. Now the A pose is something that would help facilitate how you get to sculpt. So contrary to T poses, this is pretty interesting for binding characters and also for sculpting characters. At the same time, if you're also thinking about working with the UVs or maybe you're thinking about applying materials, applying textures, there is going to be an optimized UV that is also going to be shipping with this. As you can also notice that the way the mapping is for the CC3 base and the CC3 plus base is pretty different now we're only not looking at the way the edge flow is there is also a huge update to the mapping so right now if you want to get this uh there is actually no place where it is specified if this is going to be free or not but for the most part i kind of think that some of these elements are going to come for free because owing to some of the conversations that we had the last time where we talked about the skin gen which i'm going to show you guys we also talked about certain things now after we made an announcement about the skin gen few minutes after i showed up we were having some you know conversation in the comment section whether this is going to be free whether it's not going to be free if they're going to unlock certain things and not unlock certain things and it is my pleasure to tell you guys that right now if you also go over to the blog which they've actually gonna have to update you would notice that there is going to be a free update for the skin gen so for the guys who are trying to work with skin gen there's going to be a free update and also there's going to be a premium plugin so if you want to work with the free one you have certain things at your back and call so things like skin makeup there's going to be a sample set for that you can also work with your characters all the way to 4k and also have some pretty cool incredible real-time body editing that includes adjustable effects for the layers which is going to slide underneath and also some pretty cool blending mode there are three basic premium stuff that i think you might want to get so there is going to be a realistic skin version which is going to be a library there's also going to be a makeup and sfx finally there's going to be an ultimate morph so all of these come in various variations and once this gets announced and once it gets available you will be able to actually pick 
and start working with it the whole idea here is the guys from revolution are trying to push this a little bit further so that you will be able to get realistic looking models realistic textures with just the click of a button you can also see the price listing of several things which is going to be purchased once this is finally announced now if you also want to see this in action i'm going to put a link in the description so that you can take a look at the video in a later news there is also a pretty cool update for those working with unreal live link now the unreal live link was previously used for both iClone over to Unreal 4.24 but now it has been updated to also accommodate Unreal Engine 4.25 so the recent release is for free so you can simply go ahead and get it and in case you want to also get the live link you can simply get the free live link right here so you can simply download this one and if you have iClone and you have Unreal Engine you can create that connection between them and simply get started with working with them if you're a creator and you've worked with unreal engine alongside iclone or probably you're working with character creator alongside unreal engine you might want to write to the guys at relution so that they could feature your project and on the other hand if you want to read more about the skin gen you want to read more about the incredible realistic eyes and also the base plus that is coming over to character creator 3.3 i'm going to put links in the description where you will be able to read these things for yourself now if you want to also play with any of the relution products you can simply go over to the link which is going to be in the description where you can download a free version and play with it of course these versions do have limitation but it's very interesting to know that you might be able to play with this tool first of all before you commit to making a purchase i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this or probably you just simply want to play with this go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace